What's the first wrestling theme song you fell in love with? For me, it was the nature boy, Ric Flair, walking that aisle to the music from 2001, A Space Odyssey. But that was then, and doesn't it just seem like the emphasis on entrance music nowadays has become an afterthought, especially in WWE, where ever since they changed their music production team to a group called Def Rebel, a large number of today's tunes are quite generic and very uninspiring. However, I'm not here to be a hater, because there's still some solid tracks that manage to stand out. That being said, I'm Kevin Callis, this is Wrestling Behind the Themes, and here are 10 current WWE themes that are actually good. Let me talk to you. It's very hard for anyone to admit that they're ever wrong about something. But that's just a fact of life, and the WWE seemed to atone for their stupid mistake of ever turning the NXT megastar L.A. Knight into the mid-Max Dupree for his main roster call-up in 2022. Now back and better than ever, Knight and this bop of an entrance theme right here called Night Vision with its GTA vibes, shoes of a champion, yeah. But make no mistake about it, LA is truly box office if given the keys to the caddy. Having just made his main roster debut on SmackDown, alongside his Legado del Fantasma faction and the lovely Zelina Vega, Santos Escobar should be poised as a potential marquee star for the blue brand moving forward into the future. And his Def Rebel entrance theme called Soul March can best be described as an ancient Azteca nightclub groove that while it's a simple song, also goes very hard. Prior to breaking out in the United United States thanks to Lucha Underground, his arrival in NXT as El Hijo del Fantasma signaled a new era for the famous luchador's career. And though he would eventually unmask and become the Santos Escobar we all know today, his potential is as high as he's capable of soaring through the air. Sure, there are plenty of high-flying superstars, but there's only one genius of the sky. An aerial jumping bomb angel who was thrice named the top women's wrestler of the year by her national Japanese newspaper. Io Sky has one of the best themes Def Rebel has had to offer the WWE Universe so far. Tokyo Shock, the bass thumping banger, is a fantastic fit for Sky's turn to the dark side. Now the strobe lights during her entrance hurt my eyes a bit but that's just because I'm getting old and I need to wear reading glasses and shave my back. But nonetheless, the sky is truly the limit for Io as she is part of one of the hottest factions going today in damage control. And speaking of damage control, as other members of the WWE's women's roster began to bypass her, it had become abundantly clear that Bailey's time as an adorkable babyface had run its course. As Owen Hart said, enough is enough, and it was time for a change. So she said bye bye to the wacky inflatable Bailey buddies and ding dong hello to her dark side, which also included a new Def Rebel theme called Deliverance. Turning it up as a heel and becoming a role model for us all was the best thing that ever happened to Bailey's career. And this right here is some role model music. Now true, it isn't bouncy or the least bit inviting, but in actuality, it's kind of whiny and obnoxious, which pretty much goes in step with her current character work. Mano Manashevitz, has Solo Sokoa come hot out of the gates as the enforcer of the bloodline or what? Now the baby bro of the Usos was introduced to the world at Clash of the Castle. Because quite frankly, no one watched the nightmare color run explosion experiment called NXT 2.0. But seriously, this dude is majorly set up to be a huge star. Plus Solo already has the most hype theme currently in WWE. Everything about this entrance is so on 
point. From the drum beats in the beginning, to the lighting, the intensity, and of course, the entourage of everyone's favorite oos, Sami Zayn. Taking it all is all good, and one of the best songs Def Rebel has done, because it thankfully doesn't sound generic or forgettable. It's just nice and oosy, my dog. Karrion Cross had fans buzzing after his 2020 NXT debut, which presented the Herald of Doomsday as an intimidating monster heel, thanks to this powerful theme by Def Rebel called Dead Silent. Dressed up further with an ominous yet fan-favorite cinematic introduction, it seemed like it would only be a matter of time before Cross and his valet Scarlet brought this attention-grabbing entrance to the main roster. But of course that would just be too easy, right? Instead, Double K was eventually promoted, except sans Scarlet, and he was also jobbed out almost immediately before being surprisingly future endeavored in late 2021. However, when Papa H took control of WWE Creative, one of his first calls was to try and hire the real-life husband and wife back, which according to Cross on Corey Graves' After the Bell podcast, was a complete no-brainer. WWE has had more than a couple opportunities of turning Bobby Lashley into a gigantic superstar. Lashley's career was looking like a series of false starts and failed attempts. However, all that changed when he morphed into the Almighty, which just happened to coincide with him winning his first WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Now, this version of Lashley was a true dominating force, made all the more powerful thanks to a brand new entrance theme for his inaugural reign. This badass song by Def Rebel called Titan not only included some additional pyrotechnics, but also a new opening Titan Tron reel that showed off the best of Bobby through the years. We all want to go big, then say that. Hip-hop and sports entertainment have frequently overlapped, and together it's a relationship that has influenced thousands of entrance themes. Now, rapper Wale has been an enthusiastic fan of wrestling for a long time, but it wasn't until late in 2020 when he joined forces with Def Rebel and alongside DJ Money delivered his first WWE theme as Big E broke from the new day and embarked on a singles run called Feel the Power. This vibe is the type of song that's meant to serve as a jolt of motivation with its pop-centric high-energy beats that turn up crowds wherever it's played. Seth freaking Rollins will go down in history as one of the greatest wrestlers to ever grace a WWE ring. And despite some heelish tendencies in the past, Rollins is still endeared today by many fans who loudly sing his visionary theme whenever he makes his entrance. The harmonious chanting entrance has finally caught on as Seth is serenaded at practically every show. I take nothing away from the fact that this is like the fourth or fifth rendition of his original original second coming theme, but whether he's the architect, the king slayer, the Monday night messiah, or the drip god, his music will never disappoint. Roman Reigns has truly reached God Mode, son, and his head of the table theme song is the epic final boss we can't get enough of. Sure, it takes the tribal chief like 10 minutes to make his over-the-top entrance, but you would take your merry time too if, at the time of this recording, you've been the undisputed WWE Universal Champion for over two years. Sounding like it's been produced by a composer like Hans Zimmer or John Williams, this stirring, moving, an inspirational masterpiece is perfectly suited for the leader of the bloodline. Now, when Roman began his heel turn in late 2020, the WWE Universe had anticipated that the time had come to move away from the big dog stale shield music. And Def Rebel delivered this greatness on a different level that we acknowledge wholeheartedly. 
So what do you think? Do you agree or disagree with our list? Are there any Deaf Rebel songs that you would include? Well, leave a comment down below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time on Wrestling Behind the Themes.